Cockleshell Bay is a town near the sea with seagulls and sunshine and sound. There are shops that sell ices and bright coloured kites that will fly from a string in your hand. There are white painted houses along the seafront and one's called the Bucket and Spade. It's where people stay and two children play with all the good friends that they've made. So meet Robin and Rosie of Cockleshell Bay. Robin and Rosie had finished breakfast and come out to play. Come on, Robin, said Rosie. Let's go and see if Mr. Ship's on his boat. Oh, yes, let's, said Robin, and off they went. Mr. Ship, hello. Hello, Mr. Ship, hello, called Rosie. Hello, my dears, I'm up here. I think he's on deck, said Rosie. We're coming up, Mr. Ship. Come on, Robin. Mr. Ship, called Robin. Mr. Ship, where are you? I'm over here, called Mr. Ship. I'm up over here, not up over there. Come on over. Put in the long boat, wash them all over, lie in the morning. Hey, oh. Hello, Mr. Ship. Oh, it's disappeared again. Oh, no, I haven't, chuckled Mr. Ship. Here I am. Oh, hello, Mr. Ship. What are you doing? Oh, well, your mum and dad asked me to do a bit of pointing round the back of your house, said Mr. Ship. Pointing? pointing? Said Robin and Rosie. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know what pointing is, do you? Of course we do, said Rosie. Yes, yes. it's... Um, Oh, yes, that is one kind of pointing, said Mr. Ship. But I'm talking about something else. Here, you come round here with me. Now then, my dears, said Mr. Ship. This here wall is built with lots of bricks, all joined together with stuff called mortar. Now look here. See? Bricks and mortar. Now during the year, the rain and the wind and the frost wears the mortar away. You know what I mean? Yes. yes, said Robin and Rosie together. So now what I've got to do is to scrape the old mortar out and put new mortar in. And this here trowel is what I put the mortar in with. But, uh, but Mr. Ship, said Robin, still very puzzled. What's pointing? Why, oh, bless my barnacles, said Mr. Ship, chuckling. What I've just been telling you about. That's called pointing. And Robin and Rosie thought that was such a funny name for it that they laughed. Then Robin said, What's mortar, Mr. Ship? Oh, I never heard so many questions. Mortar is a mixture of sand, cement, and water, a sort of paste like. When it's dry, it sets hard. Oh. oh said Robin and Rosie, both together. And is that what you've got in your bucket? Yes, that's right, said Mr. Ship. And I'll have to get on with my pointing before this lot goes hard. You two can go and play in my yard if you like. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Off you go then, said Mr. Ship. See you later. Bye, Bye Mr. Mr. Ship. Ship. Bye. Bye. Oh, look, said Rosie. Lovely red sand. The sand was cool and damp and firm. We could make a tunnel through it. Oh, yes, said Robin, and he dug his arm in too. But, ah, he pulled it out again quickly. There was something wiggly in there. Oh, you big silly, said Rosie. It was my hand. Oh, said Robin, and felt a bit silly. Well, um, what should we do now? Rosie thought for a moment. And then she had an idea. We can build a sandcastle with mortar. With mortar? Asked Robin. Yes, like a sandcastle, but made with some of Mr. Ship's mortar, so it'll set hard. And she dashed into the shed, 
while Robin tried to work out just what she meant. She came out again with two old plant pots. Here, she said, giving one of them to Robin. You fill that with mortar while I start building the middle part of the castle. All right, said Robin. And so the building of Cockleshell Castle began. doesn't it? said Robin. Hmm. Rosie was thinking hard, but there's something missing. I know, it needs a flag. I've seen one in the shed, she said. Here it is. Oh. Are you all right, Rosie? Of course I'm all right, she snapped. Help me up. Robin thought she looked very funny. You do look funny, he said. You look like a seal. Well, I don't feel funny, she said. And I'm not a seal, so help me up. All right, said Robin, laughing. And he helped Rosie to her feet. Pfft, she said. It's all in my mouth. Right, now for the flag. There's still some mortar left. Hmm. We ought to store it in something, then we can use it later. I'll see if there's something in the shed, said Robin. All right, said Rosie. Uh, then we'll go and tell Mr. Ship about our castle. What Robin came back with was an old Wellington boot. It was just big enough to hold all the mortar that was left. And when they'd filled it, they went off to get Mr. Ship. Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Ship. Ship. Hello, you two. Back again? Yes, we've got something to show you in the yard. All right, my dears. I was just coming over to get some more water anyway. And he followed them back to his yard. Just look, Mr. Look. Ship. Look, look what, what we built. built. Well, bless my barnacles, a castle. And very ship-shaped, too. Well, thank you, Mr. Ship. We built it with your mortar. But there's still quite a bit left. I put it in this old boot, said Robin, and he took it over to Mr. Ship. Oh, he said, it's gone hard. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, said Rosie. Oh, dear, said Mr. Ship. I've told you before about playing with things that don't concern you, he said sternly. Sorry, Mr. Ship, said Robin. Sorry, Mr. Ship, said Rosie. All the same, <laughs> it's just what I need. <laughs> and Mr. Ship was laughing. I, I've been meaning to make a door stop for ages, and you could stop a battleship with that. <laughs> and that made Robin and Rosie laugh too. Robin, Rosie, your lunch is ready. It was Grand Rowdy. Off you go then and get your lunch. Bye, Mr. Ship. Bye. Bye, my dears. Bye, bye. Cheerio now. Oh, Gran, we've learned all about pointing, said Robin. And we built a mortar castle, said Rosie. And, and we're, we're starving, they said, both together. Well, well, you come and get your lunch and you can tell me all about it, chuckled Gran Rowdy. 
They all went in. 